be a heat wave in June, they said. Risk of drought, they said. I'm, uh, I think they might have got it wrong. Or at least they got the wrong country. don't think this is a risk of drought. Right, so they had a bit of a bizarre happening here last night. I just want to see if any of you guys have ever seen this. So, there's the offending gate missing from the hole. As you can see, perfectly straight. And there the gate hinges. And you can see the pretty, pretty new gate hinges and they've sheared, just sheared clean off. Gate's not bent in any way, shape or form, just snap the hinges. I mean, there is a bit of a bend to the hinge. Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you, and see if you guys have ever seen anything like it before, or are we all head scratching on this one? Right, so we're just taking uh, a bit of a slurry out the channels at the end of the cubicle shed. Got the, the old 1600 gallon. Gee, wow. Jesus Christ. Just got, wow. I mean, I was up here yesterday and it was pretty full, but not like this. Bit of fencing to do there. Jeez. Believe it or not, he's got a water pipe that he can swap from this this field here across to that one. You can just see the water trough there. And last week, it was about this. Yeah, it's about a week ago. I grabbed hold of the pipe here, climbed down this bank and walked through that with my ankle boots on. That's serious. I mean, th th this is the reason why we're taking this, this tank, these, well, a few tank loads up to the lagoon up here because the idea of getting on a field with anything other than your feet is just it's just out of the question i mean we we are flat bang in the middle of summer this time last year everything was brown this time last year i was stood on the top of one of the ice fit fields um speaking to the lad that was going up to the doing the bailing and we were looking across the valley and you could not tell the difference between the corn fields and the grass fields everything was that brown. I mean look at this. You've got a stream running running I mean I mean this, this is the type type of situations you expect to be in the middle of winter so sort of or sort of like March, April time, not not sort of halfway through June. I say that there is a hell of a lot of grass to get through second cuts bailing um, I think we have just about finished first course my guy up on the way all the way with all the New Orleans um, we've still got I think about another 80 80 acres somewhere like that to do for him but the very notion of getting getting on the field with anything at the moment is just just totally no it's just not gonna happen so yeah I mean I'm, I'm, I'm fingers crossed 
that I'm going to stay dry today because if I do, it'll be the first time in a week I've managed to get home with dry clothes on. So. Right, so I thought I'd introduce you to our new trailer. We found this this on eBay at a very sensible price. Only little because we only want a little trailer to try and get into the little jobs. Um, I say we've got we've got use of a 25 foot there. Everything needs. This is for dealing with the little places. Um, so we've done a few bits to it. It was originally a scaffolding trailer, which meant all these were that height when we picked it up. So we ground them down just so we don't rip bale wrap. Um, headboard was a bit loose, so tighten that up. Um, there was a jack leg on the front that was going to interfere with linkage arms, and if we've got the weights up on the back of the, the little doits, that was going to get in the way. Uh, what else have we done to it? Had a bit of a fiddle around the back. Made this bar to go on the back. What? Didn't I? Um, just stopped the bales falling off the back and felt the back was a bit plain, so um, take this up and just did that. Just just make makes the back look a bit tidier. Uh, the other thing we did, and we'll get into all of this. Oh, we noticed, yeah, um, truck is in the garage. She's gone in, hopefully she comes back working. Real big fingers crossed on that. So, um, obviously, you can see the trailers had a coat of paint before we had it, and they'd resprayed the hubs, but hadn't taken the wheels off. So, we thought, take the wheels off and get them painted. Back one's easy enough. Drop the trailer off. They're loose. They're dead easy to get off. Front ones, we had a bright idea of... Because um, the, tra the trailer's actually... <laughs> that well balanced we've got to show you this that it's quite easy to move around so we thought you drop that onto the hook, linkage hook on the massey and pick it up fortunately we picked up a little bit too far and did that to the ring bad um, but look what it did to the Massey. <laughs> yeah, that was an expensive mistake. What actually happened, when the lip, the arm was in here, as we lifted up, we lifted up a little too far and actually sheared the arm off here. I can't show you the arm because it's in mate's car who's gone to get a new one. So we thought, pretty easy, take the pin out there, take the stabiliser out there, and pull that pin out. Um, in order to get that pin out far enough, we had to move this bracket, which is the bracket that holds the stabiliser arm on, same you can see on the other side. <laughs> that bracket also holds on That's the cab mount. So we've had to jack the cab up. There. Take the wheel off to give us access to these bolts here. To be able to move that enough to get that pin out. Now, as you can see, and yeah, you've got to you've got to be right on doing this. You know, at the end of the day, we were we were Alice Roman on on bolts down here, around here. So 
So we've got a proper solid axle stand underneath it. It's actually a press table, but it's good, good enough to use as an axle stand. Plus blocks underneath here, so everything was safe. So I'm just waiting for my mate to arrive with the new arm and we can get that fitted on and get her back in action because she looks quite poorly sick. Where did we get to by the end of this week then? Um, the Massey's all back together. She's all ready to rock and roll. All we need is a bit of work for her. The rain at the moment has stopped, which is a definite bonus. Um, and the pickup is, she's still a bit of an unknown. Um, I rung them yesterday. Uh, they said there's one of, basically after a bit of a chat with the guy working on her, it's one of two things: either the belt that drives the high pressure fuel pump is stretched to the point that it's um, knocked itself out of timing a little bit, which could pose cause trouble. Or the other one is the um, ejectors have had it. So I'll keep you updated on that. We'll see where we end up to. But this is the end of this week. So don't forget, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give her a grubby thumbs up. Uh, if you seem to enjoy watching the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that uh, little bell. That way you'll get the notifications and videos come up six o'clock every Sunday. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week.